Hello everyone, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Musab, Musab Sayed, your trainer for Linux in Gautam Digital Learning with 13 plus of IT industry experience. In today's class, we are going to talk about a very, very important and a very critical concept that is recovering the lost password of root. You might have faced the situation that sometimes you lose the root password. Maybe after changing the password, you don't remember it or somebody else might have changed the password and now we forgot the password. See, if a normal user password is lost, you can still log in as root and you can change the password for normal user. But if root password is lost, then there are no other option but to log in into emergency mode and recover the password. The steps are very critical, very important for interview purposes and your working environment also. And yet at the same time, it is little complicated. But if you start practicing now and regularly repeat it multiple times, I promise you that it becomes very simple and easy. So let's see that how can I recover the root password. Suppose I'm trying to log in as root user and I try to give some password and you see this is not working. I lost the password, I don't remember it now. So I don't have any other choice but to forcefully restart the machine. Go to VirtualBox console, right click it and reset the computer. Resetting is nothing but restarting the OS. When I click on reset, you see the machine will restart and it will bring you to this place. Now here you can press any key, up arrow, down arrow and pause your booting process. So when the countdown appear, if you press any key, automatically the countdown will stop and here you will have ample time to decide what to do. See here there are two lines. Line number one is pointing towards our operating system and line number two is pointing towards recovery mode or rescue mode. But the problem is rescue mode is same like safe mode in Windows. It needs root password. The problem here is we have lost the root password. Now I want to forcefully enter into my OS and recover it. It's like the backdoor entry we are doing. So keep the cursor on line number one and press E. When I press E, it opens the arguments. Now here there is a line starting with a word Linux. This line is a very big line. It is starting with the word Linux and it ends at quiet. Now you have to go to the end of this line and pass one parameter. How can I directly jump to the end of the line? You need to press Ctrl E. When you press Ctrl E, it automatically takes you to the end of the file. Now here you have to type a parameter rd dot break. What this parameter will do? This will stop the booting process and take you into emergency mode where you can forcefully enter into your operating system and fix the issue of password recovery. Now how do I continue to boot? It says press Ctrl X or F10. I prefer Ctrl X. Now you see this time it is going to boot into emergency mode. As you can see, we are in emergency mode. Now I need to access my operating system. Where is my operating system? See, during emergency mode, your operating system is kept with a name sysroot. Observe here, this sysroot, it is showing RO, read-only format. Now guys, if something is in read-only, you cannot make changes inside it. So I need to change that read-only format to read-write. How? By using a command mount hyphen o remount which option read-write and which directory it is sysroot. So this is going to force my directory to change from read-only to read-write. Now you can go inside it and recover the password. 
Now the question is, how can I access my directory? Can I simply say cd, go inside and change the password? No, that is not going to work out. In order to access it as a root user, we need a special command. And the command is chroot sysroot. So I'm telling, take me into sysroot with root power so that I can access it as the root user. Now, when I hit enter, it takes me into our directory, our operating system with root access. Now, when you are root user, simply you have to run passwd and change your password to whatever you want. Suppose I want to change it back to red hat. One more time, red hat. So password change happened. Is that it? Can I come out? Can I leave it? No. There is one more step remaining. Guys, you cannot underestimate SE Linux. See, SE Linux is meant for security. It's the security guard of the system. See, you have an office. You come to office. You are sitting into one cabin. You are going into second cabin. You are coming into cubicles. Do you think your security guard will keep quiet and allow you to do anything you like? No. You have to take your security guard into confidence that you are doing it on purpose. You have some work. So here also, you broke into the system. You access the root and you are trying to change the password. And if you don't update SE Linux, it is not going to leave you. So, in order to update SE Linux, we need to create a hidden file in slash. How to create a hidden file? With dot. Dot auto relabel. When you create this file, a hidden file is created which relabel SE Linux policies and which will cool down SE Linux. It says it's fine, everything is fine, you don't have to worry. So, let's create a hidden file in slash only, not any other location, with the name dot auto relabel. You cannot use any other name. This is the fixed name what you have to use. When I hit enter, you see the file is created. Now you can leave the operating system. You can leave the emergency mode. It's like guys, you started from your house. In between, you stop at petrol pump. You took petrol and now you are continuing the journey. So system was booting. I broke into emergency mode. Now I am continuing my normal OS boot. So you see the system will boot now. But observe over here. It is telling that SE Linux relabeling is required. Now this SE Linux relabeling takes some time. It's not a quick fire affair. At least two minutes, two and a half minutes, it may take to relabel the whole SE Linux thing. So once the SE Linux policies are relabeled, the system will get restarted. Now once it is restarted, then you will see the system booting will continue normal and we can test the root password, is it working or not. So here we need to show a little bit of patience of one or two minutes. So let's wait and see when the system restart and after restarting how we can log in. See, this is how SE Linux will work. See, it's not a simple thing. It always takes a lot of time. See, when you say remove SE Linux from the system, it would be very fast. But when you say reapply whole things in SE Linux, it is always going to take time. Don't you think that this is law of nature as well? To make a tree, it takes years. But to break it, it's just a matter of few minutes and you will break it down. So anyway, we need to give it some time. We need to wait a couple of uh, minutes before the system restarts. You see the system is now getting restarted. Let's wait till the system boots completely. Now once the system booted, we'll try login with our new password, what we have reset, that is Red Hat. Let's see will it work or not. Now you can work graphically or maybe you can again co connect with uh, Putty tool. Here you can give root user and your reset password red hat. You see I'm able to log in. Even you can try it out with graphics. Go to not listed user, give the username, give the password. That's it. So this is how 
you can recover the root password. So this is a very important and critical concept what we have learned today, not only for your interview purposes, but for your real world troubleshooting. That's it in this video. We'll meet back again in the next video with some new topic. Have a nice day and goodbye.